This is Short Attention Spin with Laura Menino. Hey, I'm Laura Menino, and welcome to Short Attention Spin. If you were too busy denying you had sex with Lindsay Lohan to keep up with the news, well, here's what happened this week. This guy killed a fellow student in Oregon. These guys killed two police officers in Las Vegas. This woman fired a missile into a car in Florida. And this guy fell asleep at the wheel and caused a catastrophic accident, just in time for white people to start being afraid of other white people. This week, Congress's plan to solve gun violence revealed itself. Do nothing until all our kids get shot, then gun violence and student loan debt kind of fix themselves. In a surprise upset, Tea Party-backed candidate Dave Bratt defeated Representative Eric Cantor in a primary challenge. Cantor stepped down as majority leader and lens crafter pageant king. Speaking of, during the Miss USA pageant, Miss Indiana was celebrated for her relatively normal body. Or a body I would relatively kill to have. If this is normal, then the rest of the contestants must have been really skinny translucent space aliens, and I am bummed I missed that. Well, Texas Governor Rick Perry compares homosexuality to alcoholism, arguing that both can be overcome, just like how Rick Perry overcame racism with a coat of paint. GM recalled a half million Chevrolet Camaros because of an ignition switch issue, so if you see this guy on the street, don't be scared. He's just waiting for the bus. John McCain blamed the escalating violence between the Sunnis and Shias in Iraq on Obama's foreign policy. You know, blaming thousands of years of religious friction on Obama's, like only blaming A.C. Slater for Z. Cavaricis. It goes much deeper. And the World Cup started this week, or as Americans know it, foosball that moves up and down. And finally, this week marked 20 years since the world would be a better place if it wasn't for a Kardashian. Well, that was this week on the seventh episode of Short Attention Spin. Join me next week when my husband will still be explaining the Game of Thrones finale to me with a PowerPoint presentation. In the meantime, you can watch previous episodes here. Follow me on Twitter at Laura Menino. Visit WeMakeMovies.org and subscribe to WMM Originals for more comedy shorts, filmmaking interviews, podcasts, and more. I'm Laura Menino, and thanks for watching.